we've looked at simple series combinations and we've looked at simple parallel combinations. Um, and now what we're going to look at is are circuits that have both series and parallel within the same circuit. So these are called combination circuits. Um, first, what we are going to do to evaluate these types of circuits is we have to be able to find the equivalent resistance for the actual circuit. And when we have multiple connections within the same circuits, it does make it a little more complicated, but we really just break it down into simple connections first. So for example, in this particular circuit, R1 and R2 are a simple series connection. R3 and R4 are a simple parallel connection. So what we would do is first combine R1 and R2, separately combine R3 and R4, and then proceed from there. I've chosen some resistance values. R1 is, R is 1 ohm, R2 is 2 ohms, R3 is 3 ohms, R4 is 4 ohms just to keep things easy and simple number-wise. Um, we're going to just first combine R1 and R2, which since they're in series, means that we add those resistance values together. We're going to call this R12, which will represent the combination of resistor 1 and resistor 2. R1 was 1 ohm, R2 was 2 ohms, so we end up with 3 ohms. Similarly, we're going to combine R3 and R4, but because these two resistors are in parallel, we need to use what we know about parallel connections and their equivalent resistance. So we're going to have 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4, and we'll inverse that quantity. So we have 1 over 3 ohms plus 1 over 4 ohms, and we inverse that quantity. That gives us a value of 1.7. We're not going to worry about significant figures here. We can round that at the end. Now that we've combined 1 and 2, we essentially have a resistor that we could place in this circuit in that same place that would be equivalent to the two of those resistors combined. And we did the same for 3 and 4. So the, this represents the combination of resistors 3 and 4. So the next step that we would complete is to continue the process of combining the resistors. And we've broken it down now to two resistors that are in parallel. So we can find the total resistance for this entire circuit, which I would call 1, 2, 3, 4, by combining R12 and R34. Because they're in parallel, with one another, or a parallel connection, we would take our value for R12, which was one, which would be 3 ohms, so we would have 1 over 3 ohms, and then our value for 34, which was 1.7 ohms. If we calculate that, we find that we get a value of 1.09, or keeping with one significant figure, that would be 1 ohm. So now essentially what we have is a circuit with one equivalent resistance value that we would call R1234, that is 1 ohms. That value is going to allow us to calculate the total current for this circuit.